Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to hack and bypass this Neutrogena controller for your light therapy eye mask. This is a self-limiting device that after 30 light sessions, it stops working even though there's nothing wrong with the controller and they force you to buy a new $25 controller. But this has been recalled, so they're no longer gonna make any of these battery packs, so it's even more critical that you hack it now. So I'm gonna show you how I took my wife's uh, mask here and I made it work for unlimited uses for her by just taking it apart in less than 10 minutes. I will show you how you can use a small wire and some tape and a screwdriver with no soldering required and you can make this light eye mask work unlimited. Okay, so as you can see, we already removed the battery cover and the four AA batteries and now we're using a screwdriver to remove the three Phillips head screws for the casing. Once those are removed, this white plastic casing will split in half and you want to be gentle here because there are some battery terminals underneath that you don't want to bend. And now our goal is to get out this green circuit board by removing the five miniature Phillips screw heads here. And you can use a screwdriver from the dollar store or something for eyeglasses. Those are really small and that should work. So be gentle here. Don't press too hard and eventually we're gonna remove the green circuit board and we're gonna flip it over on the other side and then we will show you how to connect two terminals so that we can bypass the counter. So the counter will remain at the number zero indefinitely, but the light eye mask will work anytime the plug is put into this module. Okay, all screws are removed. We're gonna lightly pry this out. It did like to stick on one of those little white plastic um, knobs there, so go gentle. You don't wanna crack the circuit board. Okay, circuit board removed. We need to flip it over and then flip it the other direction. And let me freeze frame and show you exactly what we need to be connecting. Okay, as you can see in this zoomed in shot here, on the left, we need to connect that metal terminal to this one on the right. And when that is connected, then this product will work unlimited, even with the counter being at zero. Okay, here's a wide shot of what we're talking about with the screwdriver pointing where we need to connect. So how are we gonna do this? We are gonna use some double sticky tape. And not that we need both sides to be sticky, but we want something that's kind of thicker and can conform and doesn't peel off too easy. So what I'm using here is some um, knockoff 3M double stick tape, generally used for GoPro mounts, but I'm sure you have something in the house that will work. And a small, thin piece of wire, it doesn't really matter what it is, but it should have insulation on the outside so it doesn't touch one of the other terminals. And we will take some of the insulation off the bottom and top, and now we're gonna use the double sticky tape to push that wire on each point on this circuit board. If you're handy with the solder gun, it would be more ideal to solder this right here. But I wanted to show people that it's not necessary to have soldering skills to do this hack. Okay, now we're just gonna finish up adding this wire here. And I'm just taking my time to make sure that I actually get good connectivity right there and you want to press and hold and that allows the adhesive to start working its way into all those miniature little holes in the circuit board here and then you'll see there's a little bit of tension on that wire to wanting to push away so I used an extra piece of tape to push it back into place so that it didn't want to fall off once it was back in the case Okay, now all we need to do is reassemble it. So this is gonna be the bottom of the circuit board here that's gonna go back in the case. So we'll flip this over and put it down and it's gonna slide right onto those white little 
post there. And at the top, you'll see the battery terminals. You don't want to bend those, so just be light and careful when you put it back together. Now we need to put in our five tiny Phillips screws. Now that the screws are in place, we'll put the white plastic housing back together lightly here. And that'll take three Phillips screws to put it back together. Okay, now we have everything back together. We'll plug it back in and you should still see the number zero, but even though it says zero, the mask is actually being powered. So you no longer have the 10 minute timer. You'll just need to time it yourself and you don't know how many uses are left with those batteries, but it doesn't matter because you will see that the lights will go dim when the battery goes dead. And now you have an unlimited Neutrogena light mask with no lockdown and no self restrictions in the controller. If you guys found this video helpful, please give us a like and a subscribe. Feel free to comment below on anything and we will try to answer your questions as fast as possible. And we'll see you in the next video.